<laughs> it's a King Kogi quest, and look, I'm not alone for once. Yay. We are going to the Yokohama Bay Stars baseball game. So Dan lived in Yokohama for like ages, right? Yeah, and then I moved to Yokohama when I first came back, and now I'm not there anymore. But in that time period, I had a fondness for Yokohama, went to some of the baseball games, and yeah, look, baseball gear, he's got the baseball hat, and so we're Yokohama Bay Star fans now, and that's just the way that it's gonna be. And today is the opening game. So we bought tickets, so I'd say like a couple months in advance, but I think it's gonna be like a little bit of a crazy night. I'm really looking forward to showing you guys. Big old opening ceremony. I, I know, think. fireworks, mm. it's gonna be dancing, and I wanna show you all like the food and, and the beer girls who are like amazing running up and down the aisles uh, with giant kind of like calf kegs, I would say. Yeah, have a keg on their back. Yeah, don't complain about your job when you see someone running around with a, a keg on their back, but. So nice and light as well. Yeah, they're yeah, lovely. Yeah. So it's gonna be a very excellent evening and I can't believe we got nice weather. But from here, you can actually see the stadium in the distance. I'm gonna flip you guys around. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Look, we got Bay Stars people. Look for the color blue. That's the Bay Star color. So this gigantic park is like inside of it houses the stadium and the park itself has some really beautiful like water and I've seen like lots of creatures inside of it. It's pretty neat having a stadium <laughs> in this kind of like traditional park setting. Yeah. Oh, actual turtles. Based our fan turtles. We all know where we're going. To the base star game. You can feel the hype. Wow. And super beautiful. I'd like to also mention that my base star shirt is a Hello Kitty base star combo. So it's not the traditional one that you'd see, but I thought it was like super, super cute. Plus, I put base star stars in my hair today. All right. Uh, opening day towels. Okay, so the last time I came, I learned my lesson the hard way, which was I was like, I'll get food once the game starts. And the lineups were like 25 people deep. So I'm gonna pick up my stuff now. We're doing Hiroshima style okonomiyaki. And that's just one of many food things at a baseball game in the stadium. And look at the reasonable prices. Seven bucks, eight bucks. Hi, arigatouzaimasu. What to eat next? All right, we're gonna go for some takoyaki next. We have negi takoyaki, negi cheese, so green onions and cheese on top. We can do mentaiko mayo. Yes, mentaiko mayo has been my jam lately. Then they have normal green onions, normal cheese, cheese, and kimchi mayo. Maybe we do one kimchi mayo takoyaki and one mentaiko mayo, huh? You can't see, but Dan's like, Yes, please. Behind the camera, he went like this. Ooh, and my tummy, which he did not. This lineup is nothing yet. Like, once you actually get the game going, this lineup gets much longer. So, look at the stickers. It was worth the wait. I can smell the kimchi wafting towards me. That's why you arrive like an hour early for the game and gather your food. <laughs> Hi, arigatou gozaimasu. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We gotta go. It's chaos, it's already started. Hi, Konnichiwa. Hi, Joe Wiriska. Hi,
That's the guy that's on my t-shirt, you guys. That's the uh, beer girl. So she's wondering if anyone wants beer, which we will absolutely want beer. to the Baystar Lager Lager. I believe it's pronounced Lager. It's a Lager. Uh, this one is actually really good. They have all the different Japanese brands like Kirin and Sapporo and like this one is a little bit more on the craft beer side. It's eight bucks for one of these. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> oh, 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 uh oh, uh oh. Lewis Princeton, you jerk. These are all traitors. Traitors amongst us. Yaki gyoza. Mm. <laughs> Nice smile. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, baby, Hi, so we're getting lemon sours. All the cheese has melted. Go for it. Grab one. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's fused together. There we go. It's become one. One ball. Oh my god. It's the uh, DuckTales song. <laughs> yeah, I think this is what happened last time. You were like, this is a familiar <laughs> song. Well, how can it go wrong? We'll find out. I've got cheese on it. Wait, wait. Come here. All right, let's try this then. It's a ducky mass. Oh, wow. Yeah? Oh, really good. Kimchi goes well with everything. Kimchi is great. Mm. Kimchi is great. Got that on camera. <laughs> I was like, if I can reach it with my hand, I will. <laughs> oh. And now he they're wheeling it. That's the entertainment. I like the truck. <laughs> Yeah, and then that's it. He just wheels on out. Good, solid, family fun for all. one of the best parts about Japan, the mascot scene is just amazing. Like, come on, look at that guy. Look at him. Look at how happy he is with his little pom-poms. We got a bunch of excited drunk foreigners. They look like they're from the army base. Look at him. Look at his enthusiasm. <laughs> this adorable mascot. Look at him. What do you call these innings? Innings, yes. Is it, is it innings? Yeah. Third inning. Third inning. 
Cricket. update. Cricket. Like cricket. Wow, I can't believe the egg managed to stay yolky. That wow. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> That's cabbage and Benny Shioga, like the um, yeah, sweet pickled sauce. gingers. Cabbage. Oh my gosh. Hiroshima Okonomiyaki is a lot um, saucier. Mm. Mm. Good. Terrible. Not too terrible. You know what it is. Wonderful. It's delicious. <laughs> Looks good. Because it's Hiroshima style, I had no idea that it was made with um, like yakisoba noodles. Yaki, yakisoba noodles mixed with cabbage. The, the same kind of batter a little bit, but not really. And um, secret bacon at the bottom. Yeah, like a huge slab of bacon. But I've not been to Hiroshima, so I've never tried the okonomiyaki. But it was delicious. It was basically like the yakisoba that I was craving. Oh oh oh. Seventh inning. Unfortunately, Bay Stars not doing some hot. We've had a couple of home runs and hits from the Tokyo Giants. Boo, Tokyo Giants. We're doing our best to stay positive. There have been cheerleaders, um, giant hamsters who have danced for us. We even had like a mid-show, you know, lightsaber fest and stuff. Uh, everyone's taken it pretty good, I would say. No one's been picking fights or beating each other up. But there have been several balls that have come towards us attempting to murder us. So heads up for that, everybody. Otherwise, a third beer, maybe? <laughs> third beer? Third beer, yeah. It's good. It's an excellent uh, two hours so far. <laughs> it hasn't been great for us. <laughs> if you can't all the orange flags flying. It is a bit of a shit game. Known as a shit show. Oh man. Oh my god. Look at Nine. Logan. They're losing it. They're loving it. So how was the evening for you? It was good. Yeah. It was good. Unfortunately the base has lost a nine yeah. to nothing. Nine nothing. Shh. Which I don't know baseball, but that feels like a beating. Yeah, it wasn't a great evening for them, I'll be honest. Last time we saw them they won though. Uh, yeah, I don't know if they were beating down a weakling, so... <laughs> <laughs> the real winner was the Takoyaki. Takoyaki and the gyoza was great. We both agreed that the okonomiyaki was a bit too saucy. It's a bit saucy.
Yeah, not it kind the of. Best way either. It tasted more like sauce than actual um, yakisoba or okonomiyaki, so I was not too keen on that. But the the takoyaki was baller delicious, and the gyoza was a little greasy. So when you bit it, you could taste the oil, but it wasn't like greasy. Like you know, when you eat chicken that's greasy and it kind of greases in your mouth. And then also the uh, thank you to all the beer girls. Oh my God, the beer the girls, girls running up and down the stairs, bringing like beer. So we had. Relentless as well. I know. They didn't look like. Oh, no. Got to bring this guy a beer. No. They were like, what would you like next? Okay, great. I'm so happy to serve you. And we saw Baskin Robbins girl, but we missed her. She was on the other side of the aisle. Like a unicorn. You saw her in the distance. Yeah, like, we were like. Is it we were like, is that Asahi or Baskin Robbins? That was a very fun evening. Oh my God, look at the lemon, look at the lemon sour pile. Wow, all the ice and lemon sour. I think the thing that makes this the most fun is that you don't feel any concern of like violence or aggression. Like sometimes when you go to sports events in Western cultures, it's a bit like there's an aggressive vibe if someone doesn't win or lose. But here, everyone's just having a really good time. The cheerleaders are so positive. The mascots are amazing. The food is really great. It's a delightful evening. If you're gonna come to Japan and you like things like sports events, definitely get tickets to see a baseball game. Whatever team, because you may not know who you're cheering for. I mean, like, cheer for the Oklahoma Bay Stars, everybody. So much fun. We're, we're beating the exodus by one half period because we are leaving during the nine and a half period. You're just not so, optimistic enough that Yokohama yeah. can pull this one out the back. Yeah, I don't think you can get nine runs. <laughs> In, in, my, in, the last in, in my heart. I don't know baseball technicality. But you know, very unlikely. when I do the maths. See you later, your yeah, <laughs> you tried your very best. But unfortunately, you tried your very best. Tokyo just overpowered you. And I hope you guys enjoyed this quest. And good night, everybody. Yay. There we go.